Howdy everyone, y'all know who it is, it's me, Mr. Pokemon X. And you guys better get some stuff ready, because this is gonna be a pretty long fight. Well, this is actually, this actually a pretty long video, mainly because it's six videos into one. So let's go. Wahoo! First up is the Siberia Soldier versus Shade. Well, Soul Shadow, let's go. Wahoo! This is mainly just a test animation. This does this doesn't play a key part of the story, but it is important. That's just one. Let's continue. This is a mutant versus indigo. And this is actually from the first tournament. There was a tournament before this, but it got put to private videos that I never knew about. This one, believe it or not, is really important to the main story. The indigo, well the blades, he's related to bullet or bullet order ordinance. Who is in the next tournament? Who's in the real one? He's related to him, so you're the blade guy. This is the mutant who took part in the second tournament as well. Can I ask for no? I will never ever trust one of you again. That actually is pretty important. He he knows the mutant. I mean, the mutant knows the blades and plus the bullet ordinance, but the the bullet ordinance group actually was mean to the mean to mean to the mutant before in the, in the past war. He ended up getting defeated by the by the bullet ordinance before in the past. Hey buddy, it's okay. Never again. That's why I became enraged. He knows he can't trust anyone. <clears throat> when he fought against the unknown, how it ended up like this, that he then he lost. But his fate was not just good for him. Mm, like that. <clears throat> the blade is actually the bullet ordinance's little brother. He won the first tournament. Blade, the blades did. <clears throat> Surprisingly, he won. And these have found it from the comments. I've never, I didn't watch the first tournament because because it, it was on private videos before I, I found that this channel. And these stuff are all aiming on Pivot Turn and the Pivot Animator app. Which for these kind of stuff to actually be animated on that is amazing. <clears throat> Why have so many blades, buddy? I mean I know you're called a blade, but seriously. You don't need 50 blades. I... I fail. This is from the first turn of this part is actually, believe it or not. Buddy? <clears throat> Wait. And that was the chosen one that you just saw. White, the chosen one. He actually plays a key role in this stuff. Let's continue. <laughs> this is the Earth Elemental versus the Superior Soldier. Well, versus Superior Soldier. The Superior Soldier is actually in the next tournament fight. There's five Elemental Lords. This is the Earth. His weakness, his weakness is the Water Elemental Lord. There's the Earth, Water, Light, Fire, and Ice Elemental Lord. The one we have never seen is the Ice one. The Earth one here? He gets terminated here. He's out of the tournaments. He's done. <clears throat> he literally got terminated here. <clears throat> Making those four, four elementals left. And they still working? This fight, this fight isn't the most important, it's during the main tournament fights that things get crazy and important. <clears throat> oh, ouch. 
That's the blow that hurts. Badly. 2% left. Yes, 2% HP. <clears throat> this healing factor is actually part of the Earth Elemental's abilities. He can heal. Like a known dude with the, with the healing, peel, healing pills. <clears throat> Or surrender now and hand of the heart stone. The heart stone is actually pretty important for the earth for the elemental earth. Right now, whoever your boss is, you will never get this heart stone. This actually plays a little part into the main story, please. I don't want to hurt anyone. No, this feeling, I can't fight it back. He was taking control, taking control by deeper sense. Someone else who is his real master. <clears throat> Forgive me. <clears throat> KO. The Earth Elemental is done. This is the prequel, the part before the tournament. This is actually show you the real fighters and their abilities and their skills that they have. <clears throat> and I'll tell you them when they show the fighters. First off, for the flame elemental, the third elemental, his ability is of course fire, which should be pretty obvious. <clears throat> he manipulates fire. <clears throat> he. He was not confident in the tournament abilities. The man alchemist, he shoots crystals out. That's that's his ability. Which is pretty simplistic, actually. And those two actually were not too important in the tournament because they lost in the first rounds. The unknown about the other way? He's extremely important for the for the tournament. He's the main enemy. There are several people working against him. And that pillar there, like the pillar you just hold, or the brown one, that's a berserker capsule. It makes him enraged, so he can do more damage. The blue one, the green one you just saw, poison people. The pink one ends up making other things a lot easier to destroy. The water elemental, he's has he's definitely manipulating water. He's not that important for the term either. <clears throat> Only reason he's in the tournament is just to fill the roster a little bit more. The last guardian. Here's one thing that's different from the real tournament. He appears in it a few times, but he's not the main fighter. He's just there to help. He doesn't partake part in the tournament. The regular guardian does. You'll notice him because he has, he has his double staff. <clears throat> He's powerful. He's more powerful than the regular Guardian. The Guardian was actually working against the Unknown. He's one of the people that are working against him. Shaded the Soul Shadow. He also is working against the Unknown. The Man Alchemist was as well, but he didn't make it that far. <clears throat> and the Shadow Planet Keys are supposed to be there to help Shade Soul Shadow. He makes them. The White Chosen One. He's a really important player in the roster because you'll see later on. This is the fifth element of the light. He's not that important because he lost in the first round. He plays not much key role. But he is strong and fast. <clears throat> and he likes to dab. See? The space fragment teleporter? Teleporter? He's gonna play a key part in the story as well. Looks like in his fight against the bull ordinance. You'll find something strange happens. 
with the last guardian appearing. And a new stick man. <clears throat> oh, really? This is the mutant who actually ended up technically t losing to the blade in the last match. He's important as well. Because in the first video, he ends up losing and, and technically dying, but he does die for real. Because at the end of the second one, he comes back alive. We'll find him. Okay. He lost the unknown the first time. He is strong, you guys could tell. He is really, really strong. <clears throat> He's not one to screw with. But, he has a troll, he has a troll past. Being in the first tournament, he winning so much. This person is really, 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 really important. The 2811 Superior Soldier, he's going to play a major role in the story. He's going against the Unknown as well. He's one of the main fighters against him. Same with Bullet the Ordinance. The Superior Soldier is actually pretty strong. In close combat, he loves close combat. His mech there, Protocol 01, is going to be really important as well. Bullet the Ordinance, he's... Probably the most important fighter. He's the older brother of the Blade. Who you saw. <clears throat> I think it's time to get this thing started for real. Round one. This one actually did this. Like this actually turned apart. Doesn't have much going on. Except for a few sneak peeks of other creators and other things that are really important. It's the second video that gets interesting. The fight of teleportation and portal ability, that is the teleportal. In the first fight, it's the light elemental versus the chosen one. The chosen one's the important one. So he advances in this round. <clears throat> the white ability is to copy other people's abilities. And the light, like I said, is speed, enhanced speed. And plus, plus he can fire a little blast out of his hands. As you can see later in the second video, how the white uses that power. In this fight, it was actually not much of a challenge because white won pretty easily. But there, he copies light's ability, which is helpful for the later rounds. Those yellow things, I can't read that at all because it's just not visible. And you'll notice there's no green fighters in the tournament at all. There's no green people. Mainly because he's going to play a key role later. With time pause ability. <clears throat> White's getting a beat down later right now. I don't worry, the White's going to win this. Like I said, I've watched this a lot of times. I've seen this almost a thousand times. Both two episodes. I mean, I love the music, plus I love the fight. They look amazing. Landfinder is literally one of the best animators I've seen in history. For these kind of stuff. See right there? White, I mean, light is done. He's out of the tournament. But, he's not dead. In this next fight, Mana Alchemist versus Soul Shadow. The Soul Shadow does win, but the Mana Alchemist was important. But, you're going to see something. That's really important in this fight. One moment is extremely important. Mmm. How painful. I hate that part. <clears throat> that, right there, that mech? That is the, that is the superior soldier's mech. It saves the Mana Alchemist. He's still alive out there. He just escaped the battle. That's what that that's the main part that actually plays really key important part of this. He's still okay, he's still alive out there. And that crystal there is gonna be helpful for well for the for the white. A creation. <clears throat> this fight is actually not too important for the teleportal versus the flame elemental. Like I said, the flame elemental is gonna lose this one because he lost in the first round. <clears throat> but he puts up a fight against this one, and he lives. The teleportal spares him.
I wanted the Flame Elemental to win this fight, but he didn't. <clears throat> I like the Flame Elemental a lot. <clears throat> I mean, I guess I like fire abilities. I find him pretty sick. The ability to bend fire. But in, but in reality, he didn't stand much of a chance against him, unfortunately. I wish he could have won, but he had no chance. The next fight is not much important either, but it does feature the Bullet Ordinance, which is probably the most important character in this thing, besides the unknown. <clears throat> Can you? Can you take me to your funeral? No. He doesn't. He spares him. The orange is still out there alive. The orange and the Minute Alchemist are both okay. This water elemental against the Bull Ordinance, he did put up a fight, the water elemental did. But there's one key thing that you don't know. The water elemental didn't die. He did get shot, but he didn't die. <clears throat> And also notice something else, the Bullet Ordinance, he actually put through the most fights for anyone. He had the hardest opponents, for some reason. His opponents put up a lot of fights. <clears throat> he was lucky to make it to the end, but he did. But, like, he's in this tournament, he doesn't want to be. He was forced to the tournament by... He's in the tournament to protect his brother, Blades, because if he had been in it, he'd been forced to participate in it again. <clears throat> That's why the Bullet Ordinance is in this fight. He's in the tournament. He's doing so much just for his brother to help him keep him alive. Because the Unknown, he actually appeared in the in the first tournament. Remember, like I was saying, this is stuff from the comments. And when he, appeared, when he was in the first fight, the Unknown appeared and he ended up using a time possibility to hurt the Blade. But the, un but, but the Bullet Ordinance appeared out of nowhere and actually saved him. <clears throat> and then the Mutant versus the Indi Mutant versus Blades could actually fight each other. And the Blades ended up winning that, so he won the tournament. <clears throat> Here he did get shot, but he doesn't die. Surprisingly. <clears throat> now it's for the Unknown versus the Mutant. The mutant does lose this fight pretty badly, but he doesn't die, surprisingly. He gets stabbed in the chest, but he didn't die. <clears throat> the unknown is HP vampire. He can suck HP out of his opponents, which makes him a big threat. And which made him be able to win the tournament. And notice here how the, how the mutant is not attacking until he until calls him a monster. <clears throat> But, there's one key thing that the unknown, I mean, that the mutant fails to do. He underestimated his opponent. He didn't kill him right there all the way. If he had killed him now, that blue right there paralyzes the opponent. Electrocutes him. The green one heals him. That's one's gonna berserk for one. <clears throat> Which, in the end, makes the, makes the mutant get hurt badly. Like that. The mutant was one of my favorites. So it's the Bullet Ordinance, the Superior Soldier, and the Flame Elemental. I like those four in particular. This part is just brutal for him. I feel so sorry for the mutant right now. Watch this. This part was just unnecessary. The mutant isn't dead. He didn't die. Surprisingly. He got beat up badly, but he didn't die. This fight is really important because you'll notice the Guardian is different than the last Guardian. This Guardian here, he's way different from the first one you saw in the first part. This is a regular Guardian versus a Superior Soldier. The Superior Soldier does win, but he did take a lot of damage in this fight. He has to summon his mech as well. <clears throat> he's known for close combat, but even he couldn't do that well against this guy. <clears throat> you'll notice this guy's spear, like when he shoots his spear, it's different.
When he says protocol old one, that's his that's him as future battle armor. <clears throat> Those are stats of his mech. The blue, I mean, the, like, the, like the purple, like the, like, like the light blue is the mana power of his mech, which is the power that he has in it, left in it. The green is actually the, like the, like the bright green is the health bar. The other one is actually the unknown power ability. <clears throat> actually, I don't actually know what the other one does. I, th I think, I think it's the shape of the, of the mech itself. <clears throat> the dark, dark, dark green is. That spear. Is different from the first one. This, this is not a double sided spear. <clears throat> and yes, guitar there. The <clears throat> he's taking a lot of damage. As you can see, and that right there just drain his mana down to nothing. His mech is so weak right now, <clears throat> and so is he himself. <clears throat> I am the guardian. Will never. I am sorry, Mr. B. That right there is pretty important as well. He does die, but he does play a key role. The last Guardian does. But as you can see here, wait for it. <clears throat> he takes a spear of his, and his mech is out of power. It's done. <clears throat> he is forced to leave without the mech. But it's not done yet. There's still more important stuff coming up in a second. One last really, really important thing. For the water elemental. To be continued. It's not done yet. It shows the remaining survivors. White with the light ability copy ability. The soul shadow. The teleportal. Bullet ordinance. The unknown. And superior soldier. With the last guardians. I mean with the guardian spear. <clears throat> But there's still one last little small thing. The water elemental isn't dead. Why? Can you just be happy to know the fact that you're still breathing? I see. You're not that kind of fighter. <clears throat> you're a great fighter. The the bullet ordinance there was happy that he didn't Acne and acting scarring, he needs heels. This is the main fight that has a lot of important stuff in it. I'll be pausing quite a bit in this one. The first fight just have much in it because it's just Soul Shadow versus the White, I think. If I remember right, yep. Soul Shadow versus White. This one only has two important things. The White copying the Soul Shadow and the Eminent Alchemist's abilities. <clears throat> the other parts, like most of this isn't important right here. Except for one thing. Right at the end of this, you'll see the Soul Shadow's little brother get li little brother getting into this. The Soul Shadow's brother was in the first fight, was in the first tournament, <clears throat> which is the main important part. And the way is the ability to handle lots of opponents as well, which is important. He copied his ability. <clears throat> There's the man alchemist crystal, and he's gonna absorb it. The white will, the chosen one will. <clears throat> Remember, the white is trying to take down the, trying to take down the unknown. <clears throat> He may fail, but he tried hard. This actually was a pretty good fight as well. The Soul Shadow put up a good fight, surprisingly. I wasn't expecting to put up much of a fight. And the Way of the Light ability was pretty impressive. And as it was here, the white leaves and spares Soul Shadow. He's still out there somewhere. He could help against the unknown. Because there's a third part. 
This this guy here, he was in the first tournament. You bet with that guy? Was so cool, big bro. He's the little brother of him. But this next fight contains quite quite a few key important things of the unknown versus superior soldier. <clears throat> he has the guardian spear right there. As you can see, what we got here. The warrior soldier. He knows his really not known does. These two I think used to be friends. Until the unknown betrayed him. Not bad. <clears throat> How is it, warrior? <clears throat> uh, superior? Huh? So, you prefer close combat? Watch this. Well, my last berserker capsule. That's his last one, but that... Let's rock. This thing is really... That Berserker Capsule makes him strong. Get warrior. <clears throat> but as you can see, as you can see, he's glowing red. That's, that's, that's the time left he has. If his Berserker Capsule, the more it glows red, the long, slower time it has. It's gonna be this fantastic power. Someone helped him. He had outside help. <clears throat> he sounds protocol all one way you look here. See right there? That person? That is. The last guardian. You see him right there. That's really important. And it solar recharges his mech does. It solar recharges. That green one, like I said, poisons people. And he 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 used another green one to heal himself. <clears throat> and it just drain the energy of the superior soldier. And he hacks the mech. Into his side. <clears throat> he stole the superior soldier's mech. Which is unfortunate. You're nothing about steel soldier. This is where things get bad for the superior soldier. <clears throat> that. But. The superior soldier had a backup plan. Missiles. <clears throat> that blue cap right there. Is a teleporter machine. The superior soldier is done. He's out. He did die. He's the first one to actually die. What the? That? The teleportal? This small fight is actually shows a few key important parts. He shuts off the portal. <clears throat> but. Man energy detected. He senses the white. This is where things get complex. He isn't dead. It looked like he died, but he didn't. <clears throat> the superior soldier is still alive out there. But, this is where things get bad for the space fragment slash bullet ordinance. Here things get insane. <clears throat> You know they got the machine armor? <laughs> I feel like I follow my life for this. <laughs> like I said, the bullet ordinance is in this only to only to help his brother. <laughs> Information you want some? And he just flips them off. <laughs> 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 Wait for it. The space fragment's special ability is to space up to open more room. <clears throat> Here's how things get interesting. <clears throat> now the things get weird and wild. 
Because we're, we're, we're about to have a few unexpected fighters coming in. <clears throat> Wait for it. You better notice something. That right there is the last guardian. But it's just a reflection. Wait for it. He's attacking. He just attacked. But see that person there? He was green. He had a time pause ability. He saved the space fragment. But believe it or not, the last guardian wanted the spear back. The last guardian wanted the guardian spear back. <clears throat> he thought they were both a threat. He took the spear back. That's all he wanted. The white versus... <clears throat> the white versus unknown is actually pretty important as well. But it's not as important as the final fight, which has everything happening in it. <clears throat> Only 90% of the fight stuff happens in the last one. This one is more of like the... Unknown learning about the white and how the white actually dies, but technically his spirit is still okay. The white does die in this fight because 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 his, because his ability he fully explodes into little auras. And they're like like I said, he was firing he was firing abilities out of, he was fighting little light elemental powers out of his hand. And push up you're probably probably seen a new little orb of his an orange one it explodes. Mm. <clears throat> that can heal him. <clears throat> but here's how things get bad. <clears throat> how he's a man of vampire? He just absorbs the mana energy from the crystals that the white shoots at him. See? He's just gonna absorb the energy. <clears throat> it won't work to me. It just heals him. You don't get it, do you? That's right. Cold fusion matter in the form of crystallite. Source of meta energy. <clears throat> and even yet, the white is still fighting back. He should have just given up then. <clears throat> but, he's gonna make an appearance still. He's now 100% done. In, the, in this fight. Give up or die here. He chooses to give up. See, he's out of the tournament. <clears throat> it's the bull ordinance versus the unknown. 1v1. Here's how things get complex. <clears throat> There, you see the white is disintegrated. He's done. He's dead. <clears throat> and he fades off the map. That's also another important thing that's going to happen for the bull ordinance. The bull ordinance is a cyborg. But, wait for it. You better see something. It's strange. And this is Let Me In by Andrew Mediex. <clears throat> One of my favorite songs that I love now. Wait. <clears throat> that right there? See those people? Those, 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 are, those are actually the warrior soldier. And that right there? That was the white. He, He's inside the bull ordinance. His soul is. He's helping him. He's boosting him. <clears throat> he's empowering him to fight better. And to win the fight. But... It fails. He's got several people boosting him up.
He still has four bars of mana left, he does. So this thing's... He's, he's done quite a bit of damage, but he's not done enough yet to win. Because <clears throat> he only has four mana bars left. Which means he's still powerful. All, all the Blood Ordinance wanted to do was protect his little brother from the unknown. The unknown wants to kill his brother if he wins the tournament. <clears throat> that's the main reason why the unknown, that's the main reason why he's fighting in this tournament. Blood Ordinance is for that, for his brother, to save him. <clears throat> and he's fighting hard and good. But here's where things get really, 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 really important. You just start there in the, in the top corner. You saw the red thing fly by. That was the last guardian. And these people here, you're part of the Bullet Ordinance, Ordinance Corp. This part here is actually this part is actually actually important scene as well. He, the Bullet Ordinance, was actually a real really key factor in the first war as well because he saved his brother in the first war. Plus he saved the mutant and a few others. There, that's the blades. He's his younger brother. That's why he fought in the first place, only to save him. There, there was a white empowering him to fight on. But <clears throat> this this blow here, the gun, that gun he misunderstood the power of it. That power blow takes out the bullet ordinance. <clears throat> I'm not sure if he, this fear, C V Possum Patabulum. But you're not actually speak a teeny bit of German, and I know what that says. It says if you want peace, prepare for war. But there, he, he used the green pill to heal up, and there's the, there's the superior soldier's mech suit destroyed. <clears throat> Watch it pan out. But there, that hand, that's the bullet ordinance. He didn't make it. I don't understand. You shouldn't understand, man, because you, you don't know what happened in the past. He, when he got defeated, he was he ended up forgetting everything. He does win the tournament. But there's one last thing you must see. That is the mutant. He's not dead. He's just hurt. Badly. See the claw right there? He yanked it out of he yanked it out of his stomach. I think he'll play a key factor in part 3 when it comes out. But anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to leave a like subscribe to if you're new. Bye. And I, I'm waiting for part 3 big time. I can't wait for that to come out.